We think they're somewhere over here, but probably in the trees. The search for wolves in Yellowstone National Park starts by spotting a different kind of pack. Well, it's like uh, the paparazzi. And just like that itty bitty wolf in the left part of the screen there that this pack can barely make out. Okay. They have a leader. We have Rick McIntyre. Yeah. This color gray out there. Rick is as legendary as the Yellowstone wolves he watches. Oh, every day is really exciting. You're just raring to go. He knows where the wolves are and he's most experienced with it. So You can see them almost every day. Follow the leader. Wolves are a natural part of the ecosystem system, a natural part of the wildlife community. A year before wolves were reintroduced to the area in 1995, Rick came to Yellowstone as an interpretive ranger. You still have the gray? His job was to teach people about the animal. To help people have a real good positive experience seeing wolves in Yellowstone, that really changes people. Even after retirement, Rick still shows up at the office. This is somewhere around day 9,400. <laughs> I'm shooting for 10,000. If he skips a day, there's always a reason. Yeah, then I had to have a open heart surgery thing. So that stopped me. So he's spent 30 years tracking the packs. Stopping only to spend time in his little cabin right outside the park. Oh, here it is. A place that shows his love of adventure. So this is my uh, favorite wolf picture. And literature. So I've uh, written and published four books about my experiences with wolves. Well, I can't pronounce this, but this is the Ukrainian language version of uh, The Rise of Wolf 8. Add that to the plot twists Rick never expected. Yeah, we've been um, contacted by um, a lot of movie people that are interested in the wolf stories and lives and landscapes Rick feels are worthy of Hollywood. We signed a deal with the movie people. <laughs> Is that the, all of the uh, wolves are, are pretty much going to be CGI. Yeah. So Wolves will be heroes in the movie, but Rick knows the animals are seen by some as villains. Yeah, but I think that's a different one. Including in Colorado, where they'll be reintroduced by the end of the year. We're going to try to find that wolf and other wolves. He hopes that script is flipped. Wolves were very much a native animal in Colorado, just like they were in Yellowstone. And in both places, they were deliberately killed off. So just based on, on that, that history, um, it's a pretty good reason to figure out how to bring them back. That's why he says he's out here sharing everything he knows with anyone who will listen. Well, whenever you see me, feel free to come over and say hi. Connections through education. And you know what male wolves do? And bad jokes. Everything the females tell them today. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're writing a book right now, I understand? Yeah, and the, one of the main characters is 907 in her life story. She's been through a lot. He can't imagine a different life. <laughs> what else would I do? <laughs> Join the circus. <laughs> Where Rick goes, the pack follows. In Yellowstone National Park, Ann Herbst, Nine News. He's quite a character. Uh, no one really knows if wolf enthusiasts like Rick will flock to Colorado once the animals are released. Wildlife managers, though, in Yellowstone say they never expected wolves there to be visible, but they say they're now known as some of the most viewed wolf packs in all the world.